Right, well, have you ever wondered what happens from the time when samples for COVID-19 tests are collected to the time they get to the lab for analysis? NTV's Eunice Omolo visited the lab at the Kenya Medical Research Institute, that's Kemri, to learn more about how the samples are transported safely for accurate results. Here's her report. The COVID-19 test is one of the most invasive and uncomfortable. Since the virus does not reside in mediums like blood or in any other bodily fluids, there is need to create a medium to transport this highly contagious virus. The, the coronavirus uh, started when it struck to our country. Uh, those kits were not enough because the patients or suspects uh, continue, continued building up until when those materials that came got finished, uh, Camry was, was approached and we started making the virus transport media. We have uh, the ingredients. Researcher Julius Moshiri explains to us the process behind the making of this virus transport media. The medium comes in powder form, but it has to be mixed with distilled water and other components to turn to liquid. The medium is prepared in a clean environment to avoid contamination of any kind. It is supplemented with a buffer uh, buffers are to give the right pH of the media required. Uh, so we have to make media which will support uh, the environment where uh, this virus is. Sample is not collected from, the st from sterile areas. And for that, this medium has to be supplemented with antibiotics. These antibiotics that we are using it is, a, it is to suppress any bacteria. It's just like to purify the virus. The liquid medium is then put in these small valves that will, that will be used to carry the samples. They are then transported to sample collection points. When it is put here, uh, that uh, splint is, is cut and it is left the, the, co the cotton swab plus the half of the stick is left inside whereby it is the one that is used to, to pick and then uh, we have already the, the material from the patient inside the transport, the virus transport media. Other neighboring countries also order this transport media from Camry. I remember we have sent uh, uh, a batch of about uh, 600 uh, tubes like this one to Somalia because they requested our assistance. The Ministry of Health is yet to start the mass testing that will see the country process about 30,000 samples daily through the Camry lab. At the moment, the country is only doing targeted testing. Eunice Omolo, NTV, Nairobi.